What is the plan for, for Jonathan? Is he ready to play for another team? Have you had offers from other teams? Well, right now the uh, Miami Dolphins have his rights, so we can't talk to any other teams at this point until they give us permission. So uh, this week coming up at the Combines, we'll sit down and talk to them and see what they want out of this deal. Um, but I expect there'll be a, a substantial amount of teams that are interested in a young athletic uh, offensive tackle. And what about Richie Incognito? What was your view of him? Because he's been tweeting away saying, you couldn't define me in 144 years, let alone 144 pages. Mr. Wells, the man who obviously oversaw the report. Uh, goodbye Twitter, seems to quit Twitter. Uh, I want to, everyone to know I'm in good spirits. Look forward to playing again one day. Should Richie Incognito be given another chance? You know, that's not for me to say, and, and I don't want to judge him. I'm only concerned about Jonathan and, and, you know, what happens to other youth or young athletes around the country and how they deal with it. That, that's all I'm worried about. And whatever happens to Richie, happens to Richie. I think we just let the report speak for itself. Should sports bosses, coaches, managers, chief executives and so on, of any sporting organization, professional uh, in America, should they be taking now more responsibility about behavioural issues? Has there simply been not enough attention on this over the years, allowing players, perhaps in any of these sports, to get the wrong idea about where lines and boundaries are drawn? Well, I think, you know, this, is, uh, this will change a lot of things. I think that uh, we saw all these you know, big companies, whether it's Toyota and Nabisco, uh, they changed over the years, and I think the NFL is too. And I think uh, we're going to see a lot of positive changes in NFL uh, locker rooms. How would you describe, uh, finally, Jonathan's state of mind right now? Do you feel like he's over it? Has he, has he got to a place, you know, you suggested that he may be a much happier place, but is he in a place ready to play professional football at the highest level, do you think, or would it take a bit more time? Well, Piers, as you know, I'm not a health professional, but uh, he sounds great. He sounds positive, and I think he just wants to get on the field and, and let it go and, and see where he stands. And he's been working hard. He's been up at Stanford going to class uh, with some of the football players, working out in the weight room with the strength coach. And I think he, he sounds great, and uh, I think that uh, 2014 is going to be a really positive year for him.